normally sells just about everything, which is why there's so, so many people watching this today. 244 is what they brought a week ago. Today Morning, Zach. Good morning. You don't know what we're doing today, do you? No, I don't. Well, let me show you something. So I've got my Gas Monkey Fast and Loud ring on, and today's Wednesday. So what does that make it? I don't know. Wacky Wednesday. What is Wacky Wednesday? It's something me and a bunch of my car dealer friends used to do many years ago. We stopped doing it. I don't know why. Richard called last night and said, hey, John Clay Wolf, the guy from GiveMeTheVent.com, invited us to come down and watch his lanes at Mannheim. He is one of the largest wholesalers of cars in the world. It's a very interesting business model. Again, it's GiveMeTheVent.com. So we're gonna, we're gonna go pick up Richard, go to Mannheim, which is one of the largest wholesale auctions in the world. It is pure chaos. They literally will sell thousands of cars today, maybe 10,000 cars, I don't know what the number is, but you guys are gonna enjoy this. Then we're gonna go have a killer meal. We might even see a cyber truck sell today. It's that time of day. I'm hungry, but also need a pick me up. So I'm gonna pull out the wellness shots. This is my favorite one right here. The apple, ginger, lemon, and cayenne. Very good for your digestive system. I actually picked this one out earlier. Chorizo chili. As you always know, uh, Factor's always fresh. It's never frozen. It only takes two minutes. Saves you a ton of time for having to prep your meals. In my opinion, it's much cheaper than fast food and much better. Two minutes, I'm gonna do my wellness shot. You studied up on cayenne pepper, it's got a lot of great properties for digestion. It tastes really good too. Love the ginger taste. I definitely get the wellness shots. No prep, no mess, dietitian approved, always fresh, never frozen. Head to factor75.com or click on the link below and use code coffeewalk50 to get 50% off your first factor box and free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. And I've ordered this group of factor meals that I have in the refrigerator right now are actually gluten free. So those of you that are gluten free, you can special order your meals as gluten free meals. Let's get this party started. Look at that, chili chorizo. I'm just gonna go ahead and prepare the best bite. My best bite is gonna have quite a bit of cheese in it. How's that for cheesy? I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Tastes like you're in a restaurant. Outstanding. This is not fast food. This is fresh food. It's never frozen. Factor. Try the chili chorizo. Head to factor75.com or click on the link below and use code coffeewalk50 to get 50% off your first factor box and free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. So grab your cup of joe and let's go have a Wacky Wednesday. It's Wacky Wednesday! It is! Woo! Woo! How long has it been since we've done that? It's been a long time. Look, I even got my gas lucky ring on. So do I. It's going to be a long day. <laughs> it's going to be a good one though, right? Hell yeah it is. I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's go see what GiveMeTheVin.com is all about. You've been telling me about it. It's supposed to be pretty rad. I mean, the whole idea of it is... Uh, he runs them at Mannheim like a lot of the wholesalers do, but he has no reserves, no matter what it is. That's awesome. Zero. But he's like one of the top wholesalers in the entire U.S. now, right? He's supposed to sell like, I don't know, thousands of cars today. This is unbelievable. One dude. Yep, one dude. So I bet it's been 10 years since I got a gas monkey shirt. Like, literally. Yeah, come on, man. Seriously, what's new? Uh, well, we've got a lot of new stuff going on. This We're doing a lot of stuff because this is my 20th year of anniversary, dude. So this is kind of an anniversary shirt. So you know where the original Fest hat is? You probably have it. It's in my closet. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I actually have that hat. 20 years of blood, sweat, and beers. This is a prototype. It's not out yet, obviously. We're working on a few new designs up here. This is one of the old designs that we're refreshing and bringing back. Okay. And uh, this is a new tagline I just uh, uh, trademarked. Drop the gear and disappear. I like that. And uh, of course, you know, this was the first car we ever built. 20 years ago. Yep. So we're going to do a tribute to it. There's the hat. Looks like they were bringing the hat back to you. I know, right? I have that hat in my closet. Oh, and then uh, this is my favorite. You know, we always say get you some of that, and we always say uh, money never sleeps, and we always say let it rip tater chip. Well, the new one is in the mix since 2004. And rougher than a stucco bathtub. Oh, yeah. That one, too. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure. Right. But uh, I do have a whole bunch of new stuff over at the store if you want to go check it out. I do. Actually, I, and Zach wants a shirt. 
Well, Zach can have a sheriff, but it doesn't do me any good because he's behind the camera. There you go. Well, <laughs> thank you, sir. So we do an age before beauty or beauty before age? No, I'm definitely better looking than you. <laughs> Hello, nice lady. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you all? Good. So, uh, yeah, if you remember 20 years ago, I was selling t-shirts out of that van in front of the shop that I was renting from Phipps. I remember. That had like two car area and we didn't even have running water there. We had to go to Phipps' shop to wash our hands and take a poo. It was freaking horrible. I do remember that, pulling up and they were slinging shirts out of that van. Yeah. What's new, like brand, brand new? This is one of our newer ones. Uh, and it's got to get you some of that on it. I don't know that I want to wear a t-shirt with your face on it. Well, that's understandable, but other people do. Got it. But uh, let's see. Oh, this is our 20th anniversary one. Um, I brought, like that. Yeah, brought back spark plug, blood, sweat, and beers. Get you some of that. A little bit I'm of everything. In. I'll take one of those in a large. Get one of those in a large, sir. Right there. Look right, at that. Look at that. Spark plug. Oh, and uh, we got the Texas Skidmark shirt out. Love it. Uh, you know, that's a truck we're giving away. And uh, then we got Need Money for Project Car. And we defined Project Car over here as a junker with a plan for greatness in my mind and always just one part away. See also POS, delusional and hopeless. So <laughs> I don't know if you remember this, but I had a, an MGA one time that I put in the old car trader. Remember how we used to advertise? Oh, yeah. And in the description, and this floated through, I was surprised it got printed. It stirred up a big thing. And I mean, it was like a huge story back in the day. But in the description, I put rougher than a stucco bathtub, a true POS, only a masochist would buy this car. <laughs> and I sold it. <laughs> and I sold it. <laughs> Love but, that. Uh, those are the new ones that are in. Um, I like that. Well, it comes in black too, I believe. Because you and I wear a lot of black, so. I'm in one of those in large. Look how you did the blue in the sky. Yeah, there's a little monkey in there. That's We're getting really cool. pretty good, man. You are getting good. One of these days, I'm going to be uh, in the apparel business. Look, you got like little Shazams up in here. Little squish bow. Just squish bow. <laughs> That's awesome. How about old school stuff? Uh, some of the core stuff, you've seen that for a long time, you know, our regular one. Uh, you know, I, I love it when I wear this shirt and uh, Brian Bass sees it because I paid him to, to draw this car. Great shirt. And he goes, I really should have charged you a lot more. I said, yeah, I probably sold 50,000 of those shirts. <laughs> that's <laughs> but it's awesome. been a long time, you know. Yeah, that's a neat shirt. Definitely a uh, gas monkey staple. But we have a good know. time here. Um, you know, we just opened, so it's 10 o'clock in the morning, but uh, it's usually pretty full. We get people from all over the world here. I'm fixing to do a map thing or something. I just can't figure out a cool way to do it, but we've had everybody here. I mean, from countries I didn't even know existed. They're, Is the Infant Apparel still doing well? Oh, heck yeah. Because I remember when you first launched that, it was crazy. I mean, it was like onesies you Yeah, said. the little kid stuff goes well. You know, you just gotta realize the guys that are, that are watching the show now, you know, they were little kids at their dad's feet when the show came out. And now they are getting little kids. It is mind boggling how many of those you sold. It is. And there's the Midas monkey. There it is. That came from behind Collins Brothers. Uh, yeah, exactly. That car turned out fantastic. It did, I know. I just was at the Die Cast Hall of Fame thing the other day. And oh, congratulations was, on that. That's yeah. outstanding. I'm uh, in the uh, Die Cast Hall of Fame for uh, making a uh, contribution to Die Cast. For Hot Wheels. For Hot Wheels and what have you. But. Uh, I asked the guy, because the guy from Hot Wheels was there, I said, would, it, would that car ever be able to be bought back out of the museum from Hot Wheels? He goes, no, never. <laughs> I said, well, I guess that's good. They like it that much. Yo, that's actually one of the cars we drove quite a bit. Yeah. A lot of those cars that were built didn't get driven very much. My second date with uh, my lovely wifey, I took her for a ride in that. It's got, it's got a big blower on it. <laughs> a big blower in it. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that's what you'd say. So, I don't know, D, and uh, I, mean, I bet well, you I haven't know, even I mean, had any of my sauces at your shop yet, have you? I gotta uh, get you a pack of those to send to you guys. Send them over because we eat a lot of barbecue, that's for sure. Dude, this skid marker, it's called skid mark for a reason, brother. That stuff is spicy. It's super hot. Yeah, but this is doing good. Uh, we're fixing to launch some uh, spices and rubs, you know, I call them uh, dusty stuff. All right, thanks for the shirt. Let's go to the auction. Let's go. Hi, Dennis Collins. Nice to meet you, sir. All right, so Richard and I are trying to wrap our brain around this. We haven't been here in a long time. You guys are running six lanes today. Correct. 1,100 cars. Uh, a little less. Little now less. we hold some because we're pictures. Okay. That is absolutely amazing. But there's 30 lanes out here physically, right? 
Uh, yeah, no, well, actual physical lanes, but they're numbered up to the 30. Up I think 30. there's really only like 18. But they're running so many cars and there's six lanes that they don't physically run them through. They're parked out there, but the six auctioneers are here. What's well, crazy? Right. Aren't y'all selling a couple of cyber trucks today? Two, 321 and 322 in lane 20. What time do you expect that? After 12. After 12. All right. Two cyber trucks coming up today. Let's go out and watch this chaos. 2024 Mercedes T Class. You can't get these right now. So he's going to sell it 
normally sells just about everything, which is why there's so, so many people watching this today. 244 is what they brought a week ago. Today it's at $196,000. That's a $48,000 swing in a week. And he said, 20%. He said, sell so the <laughs> Keep the market. guys are wondering because it was mind-boggling he sold almost 1,000 cars in one day there were 40 late model Porsches four McLarens two cyber trucks and a lot of regular late model cars by regular late model cars what he generally buys is 91 and newer but all the way to brand new stuff if it even just has a few miles on it by 2024s so you go to give me the and you'll get an answer quickly he pays and picks up very quick because he tries to consistently buy at least 1,000 cars a week. So he needs your car. We get asked the question all the time you know, on vehicles that we don't particularly buy. So 91 and newer, send all those to him. Anything that's 90 and older, send them to us at social at cbjeep.com. Primarily what we're looking for is classic cars and Jeeps. All right, Richard picked this one. We're at the Katy Trail Ice House on Katy Trail. On Katy Trail. Beautiful weather outside and good food, right? Killer food, good booze, and good people watching. You take your tag off now. You're not a dog. Look, you have to be seated. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. So we got loaded queso. It looks like it's brisket, sour cream, guacamole. I don't know. It looks like freaking good is what it looks like. <laughs> Somebody's hungry. Oh, I'm fine. His name's but, Richard. Um, so we get all this I on mean, the cracker. I'm in too good a mood to go into the whole details. So we get all this on the chip. Yes. I'm gonna do it Texas style. I'm just gonna dip all up in here. As long as you're single dipping, it's fine. Yes, sir. <laughs> Loaded queso. Very. Very Texan. It's good. Loaded fries next. <laughs> Loaded cheddar fries. Definitely a Texan thing. <laughs> Jalapenos, cheese, fries, bacon, chives, and ranch. Beautiful jalapenos. Look at that. Cheese. Bacon, beautiful. Chive. Uh oh, give me a big bite. It's ranch. Gonna be messy. Awesome. No. <laughs> Hangover burger. I'm not hungover, but I think it'll cure it 
before or after. What do you think, Art? I think if you stay with me long enough on this wacky Wednesday, you will be hungover and need that tomorrow. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> so what I like about this, it's got a fried egg in it. I'm just, that, working, I'm just working on the hangover. I'll have to get mine tomorrow. I'm gonna eat this one upside that looks down. Damn. I think it's gonna fall apart. I've never been here, but this place is awesome. Oh, he got, I think you got half paper. Oh, that's egg. It's so white. I was like, he's eating a napkin. Wow, that's a, good, <laughs> that's a two biter, best biter. Love it. It was on the weekends. They got this trail going up down here with all the We're not showing that. Why not? <laughs>it's in the booth we have an unusual one for you today we paint tons of jeeps as everybody knows we've done many many four-door wagoneers but it's unusual for us to do a cosmetic restoration on an xj cherokee check this out color code pg8 deep hunter green pearl beautiful color now there's a lot of pieces to these. You've got the side cladding, you've got the flares, you've got the bumper ends, lots of glass, lots of trim has got to come off of these. Big job to actually paint an XJ Cherokee. And very few people are willing to step up for a show quality paint job like this. This thing is going to be stunning. A lot of sentimental value in this. One family owns it's new and they wanted it looking new again. So there you go, PG8 Deep Hunter Green on a 99 XJ Cherokee. As always, please like, share, and follow, and most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next week.